I'm David Marvin Margulis, and you're watching Taped with Rabbi Doug. Gonna watch Rabbi Doug on the TV tonight. Forget about the network programs. Forget about all the great cable shows. There's only one thing for me on Mondays and Tuesday nights. Rabbi Doug! We're gonna see Rabbi Doug. We're gonna watch Rabbi Doug. Yeah, we're gonna watch Rabbi Doug on your TV tonight. Shalom and welcome to Taped with Rabbi Doug. We're here at Young Israel of Skokie. We're in Skokie, Illinois. And I'm here with Gershon Seif. He is uh, uh, one of the members and uh, uh, leaders of the Karlbach Combo. And uh, I want to first talk about with you, and I welcome to the show. Um, heard you play many times before in, in, in small settings uh, with, with the group. And uh, tell everyone a little bit about why... Why Shlomo Karabach? Why his music? And why did you get into it so much that you were willing to put a group together? And uh, uh, some of them who are also so much into Shlomo Karabach get a group together to sing mainly Shlomo Karabach songs. Well, the truth is, it's not only Shlomo Karabach. We ended up mixing anything that was heartfelt. Right. Um, so even though the name is called the Karabach Combo, um, it was started uh, by, well, Eli Cooper mm -hmm. himself had a lot to do with Shlomo Karabach was close with his family who slept over, maybe you've heard stories about uh, that. Sure, sure. With all the, the hippoloch that they were on his uh -huh. porch on the front of the house one night, and many stories like that. I personally, my, my, my parents happened to have known Kralbach, and there was always, was always playing in the house when I was a kid, um, but there was, it's much more than that. It's really, for me, it was going back to simple music, simple chords that I could play, because I'm really not such a guitarist. Oh, you do a good job, though. Yeah, yeah good, good job of faking it. Um, and, and you sing great harmonies and great lead. Thank you, thank you. I mean, it's, it's something that I think everyone can do if you slow down. Anyone who has a basic sense of music, everyone can relate to those songs. It's something that I allow myself uh, to get emotional when I sing, and I think the audience connects with it. And that's what Karl to me, was was someone who opened up my heart when I was a little child. I remember hearing that and getting all emotional then. So that kind of music, whether it's his music or Cardoni's music or, or Brazil's music or all the old stuff. So you, you pulled together with this group, you and Ellie, uh, a number of musicians that play in other Jewish bands. And right, uh, right. of course, uh, Ellie and, and Matt and David, they've all been on our show a number of times playing with other bands and stuff. Is, is there something about, um, oh, and Ruby, I can't forget Ruby also with so many other bands uh -huh. uh, being with us. Is, is there something about um, these this group of people that you think um, emits a, a, a certain <laughs> element of uh, uh, ruach, Within, within the music, because these guys, th this kind of music is their life. This is what they do. Yes. Uh, David Margulis and I spoke about this many times. This particular stuff that we do, it's not the rock music, it's not the loud stuff. It's all of us getting back to it. And really, for us, it's a kind of a tefillah. It's our emotional connection to Hashem through the music. And while I also happen to have had a background in rock and jazz, but Getting it simple. I mean, there was my time in my life when I was Stones and Allman Brothers and Hendrix and all mm -hmm. that. I know all that and I can play all that, mostly on drums. But this brings me back to a certain peaceful sense of who I am. When I'm Yom Kippur, I wouldn't be doing Hendrix. Mm -hmm. But these tunes resonate with me in a much more spiritual way. I understand. Spiritual is the key word. Well, we're going to hear the uh, Karlbach combo. Stay with us here on Taped with Rabbi Doug. Uh, Gershon's going to be with us, and it's going to be uh, a really a very moving evening. <laughs>
Lucy Landsbaum from Soul Farm, and you're watching Tape with Rabbi Doug. Yeah. <laughs>
We're here back on Taped with Rabbi Doug, and we are in the middle of the Karabach Combo show at Young Israel of Skokie. And this is the other leader of the Karabach Combo, and our good friend who's playing in a lot of Jewish bands, been in our show so many times, Ellie Cooper. Ellie, welcome to the show. Thank you. And thanks for coming and talking with us. Um, uh, Gershon told us that uh, uh, really uh, you and he both are the two people who really knew Karabach, outside of Ruby who had his connections, um, but really in a, in a personal way, more than just a musical way, and, and had that connection. Can you tell us about that? Because Shlomo Karabach is a legend in, in Jewish music, a legend in, in Jewish folklore, and in, in, in uh, just being a, a, a very well-known and respected rabbi. Uh, what was your family connection? How did you know him, and, and how did that all come about? Well, it kind of started with my parents. They, um, they met him in the Caskills in the middle to late 50s when he was just got started. And my mother, being the uh, the quiet person that she is, just went up to him and started talking to him. And his father is a famous cantor too. Ellie's father is a famous cantor. So um, uh, music, the connection of probably of, of the two of them together with Jewish music was a big connection too. Yeah. So the the, the way I understand it is that um, when they met in the Caskills, my mother yeah. said, "When you ever come to Chicago, come stay with us." So basically, my first recollection of him coming to the house was I was about five years old, so it was about 1960. And he stayed by in our little apartment on uh, Rockwell. My father was a chazan at uh, Anshay Tikton, which the building is no longer there. Nick Rakodesh Anshay Tikton on Foster Avenue near yeah. California. Correct. That's in the one. Uh, Bud Long Woods. Bud Long Woods, very good. And uh, we, he'd take out a candle in the middle of the night, he'd wake us up, and he says, I got a song in my head, I got a song in my head. So we'd all gather into the front room, with no air conditioning, of course, at the time, and uh, we'd sit around and we'd start the singing. Uh, the, my parents tell me that his song, Rain of a Yen Yen, mm -hmm. was, uh, was made at our house. Wow. So that was cool. cool. So really cool. he actually put the guitar in my hand for the first time in my life when wow. I was five. And I, he kind of taught me a little bit. And when he started coming to uh, concerts, he would tell me, Holy Ellie, bring your guitar, you'll come up with me. And that's how I actually got it started in music. So I would accompany him all the time. Well, this is, this is such a cool story. I wanted to hear this story on camera for our viewers. It's really a cool thing. And here I, I've got you playing with three different bands in, in a short time on the show. Mm -hmm. And you've been on the show so many times before. And I can't thank you enough. i got to tell you, um, I love listening to you. I, I, I want to tell you on there, I love listening to you. I love your harmonies. I love when you sing lead. I love how you can play guitar in a real hard rock way, and then you can play in a real mellow way and just carry us along with that spiritual sound. And you do such a good job of that, and I want to thank you uh, very, you're, very you're, much. You're embarrassing me. Uh, but listen, <laughs> Ellie Cooper, stay with us here for more with the Carl Bach Combo on Tape with Rabbi Doug. And here's one of those original Diaspora Sheba Band songs. Okay. Oh, 
tomorrow. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, city of my dreams. I've been this way some time before. Oh, that's the way it seems. I walk your streets and I see your wall. And I saw your song. This is That's it. I, I want to thank you so much for being here. I want to thank you for all this wonderful music tonight. You even gave up your guitar to Ruby one time. What a thing to do. It was really... A, very risky. Really, really, you know, really, very happen. risky. You never know. You never know. But it was really, it was very enjoyable. The whole evening really, I think, moved everyone who was there. Uh, uh, David Margolis is going to be moving to uh, uh, Israel with his family. Uh, his wife and I lived in the same neighborhood growing up together. Uh, I've known David forever as well. And uh, I wish them all the best. Uh, hopefully, uh, uh, we'll hear him uh, playing music in the future, but uh, I know it's going to be a big loss for, for this group of people that, that plays with him pretty regularly outside of Durham.
during COVID. So it's been a break. Now you're back together and then he's leaving. Yep. But uh, we wish him all the best. want to thank you for being with us. Remember, you can check out our website, www.tvrabbi.com. You can also see former shows on the web. If you want to email anybody in the Karbach Combo or email us, you can email us at info at tvrabbi.com. I will forward to them and I know they'll get back to you. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Gershon. A pleasure. And uh, hope to see you all next time right here on Take with Rabbi Doug. Shalom, everyone. Hi, this is John Records Landecker, and this has been a Taped with Rabbi Doug production.